that's all right. That's the way we it goes. That's okay. It's all good. So, yeah, I may have been recording. That will not make it to anything. <laughs> I have several of those. So, um, enjoying a cold adult beverage with uh, Pibble on uh, Easter weekend. Cheers, Easter Cheers. Passover weekend. Um, are you Jewish? My wife is. Same, so we celebrate both. Same. We have a mixed marriage as well. Yeah. We celebrate everything. <laughs> well, we practice nothing. I see that. Yeah. So That's why we get along? Pretty much. <laughs> yep. Pretty much. So cheers. Cheers. So what are you smoking? This is a Nica Libra. All right. Explain it. Do you know it? I don't, um, I don't no. know anything about it. No, I'm not really sure. Actually, I saw it on Cigar.com, and the price wasn't bad for 15 of them, so I got them as a trial. And they actually have because 15 is a good trial, not one, maybe if, two. Yeah, 15 is a good 15. trial for 34.99. Oh, two bucks a stick, yeah, yeah, you can't beat and that. And it's it's a good smoke because it's got it's got a nice hearty flavor, it's got a good draw from start to end, okay. And you can well, put you do it down. smoke a cigar right to the end, yeah. You could walk that, put it down, and walk back 10 minutes later, and it's still lit. Oh, that's good. You know who builds it, who makes it? I mean, I know there's a wrapper on it, but that not it's not necessarily who. It may be, I don't think it's A.J. Fernandez. Gonna have to look that up to see. Okay. I don't know if you did your research on it because, you know, you spent all that money. Yeah, you know. You know, you, know, you invest $2 I'm, in a stick. You pretty much want to know where it's grown. Well, the only thing I really invest heavily in for cigars is my Man of War Ruinations by A.J. Fernandez. Okay. Which is, have you ever had one? I don't believe so. Oh, okay, well, we'll not going to have one today. We'll I already cracked this one. Okay, I'll, I'll give you one when you leave. Well, no, we'll, we'll, we'll do this again. Because You're going to come I by the, the hangout and Absolutely. we'll do a real one. So uh, my go-to stick, of course, is the uh, Podormo. And I fell in love with the champagne model. It, you know what? It's a Connecticut wrap. It's a light cigar. Silent Bob came over to the house the other day. And I broke his chops because oh, it's a skinny little stick. Because he's really just getting into it. But yeah. he's, he's jumping into it. He's doing all right. He didn't like the big gauge that I had. So I was like, so I got this one. It's like, I really like it. So I got one. Actually, I got three the other day. I didn't buy 15 and I only bought three to try. And it's good. It's like, it draws nice. It smokes great. And I'm a fast smoker anyway. Mm -hmm. So by the time I get down here, it's not cooked like some of those bigger ones. Yeah. So do you have an actual... Oh, you have a punch. I'm going to uh, V cut. You want to cut? No, I got a V cut. Um, Drop it on the floor. That's all right. No, I collect that stuff. It's windy. Oh, do you really? No, I'm kidding. Who would collect that? <laughs> we collect everything. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. People collect a lot of shit. Ooh, that's a hot flame. I just totally... Forget about toasting. Let's destroy it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I guess Bo did not like the uh, the camera and the selfie stick. No, I, I didn't just, ask permission. It just scared him. And the glasses, so. Hello, puppers. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I know, you don't like it. I don't blame you. Yeah, he, he, gets, he gets nervous sometimes. Um, but again, there was no barking at all when you walked in the door. There was no barking. I'm a there friend was no, now. There was not, nothing yet. I'm a friend. Did we chase you away? No. All right, good. I just finished that. Now you can join us if you want. Oh, it's all good. Do you Stay smoke cigars? No, I'm not really no? a cigar guy. Okay. Like I said, we've seen what you smoke. Well, that'll be a different video. <laughs> oh, so I had Tufo over the other night. Tofu. You know uh, my neighbor? Mm -mm. Okay. Well, anyway, he is my cigar aficionado, and we were talking about pairing with a good cigar and how it can taste different with what you drink it with. It yes. certainly tastes different with a beer. Mm -hmm. I have my rum mixed drinks. He's a bourbon guy. You're a bourbon guy, right? So are there different bourbons that you'll dr uh, drink to smoke a cigar with? No, I pretty much drink Jack. Drink Jack. Um, from time to time, if I get a bottle of Maker's Mark. All right. Um, but I do have a good Cavassier. Will you choose a there. certain cigar when you smoke those? If I'm if I'm going to be having it pairing it with a good drink, it's normally a ruination back here, watching the dogs run, some bluesy jazz on, right. just kick back, L relax. Living the dream, right? Yeah. 
cool because as I'm learning more about it, I, I through osmosis and through some training with my cigar smoking friends that <clears throat> a good cigar, which by the way, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much only smoking good cigars now. <laughs> Thanks to my neighbor, I only smoke good cigars now because he really reamed me. Did he like, really? you're smoking that? <laughs> I would smoke things like acid blondies that are infiltrated with stuff. Not that they're a bad cigar. But they are a beginner cigar. It's like the Sportster. It's a good bike. It's, you're going to have it for four months. Because then you're going to go, oh, shit, I need a real bike. Uh -huh. Can I grow it? Especially somebody our size, right? It's actually you funny because my first bike was a Sportster. Everybody's first bike was a Sportster. <laughs> At least their first Harley. It was Otherwise, a, a Honda 250. It was an 883. Exactly. That was uh, Scooby's first bike, which is the Chopper now. Really? Yeah. Yep. The purple one? The purple one. Really? It's a kick-ass 1200 now, though. Thanks to Doc. God bless you, Doc. So, yeah, actually, I'm doing a couple videos on that. TJ did a video at the house the other day with the, with the professional monkey. And um, he said, "Oh, I gotta buy this thing. I gotta put. I, I can work on. I can make a lot of videos with this." <laughs> so, of course, uh, Savage nicks that. Yeah, that ain't oh yeah. No. Scooby's like, "Yes, get it out of here." It's like it doesn't cost me anything. I got a big enough garage. I can fit it there. No. But anyway, we're working on it. It's still in my garage. Yesterday, I, I cleaned the carbs. Carb. Uh, it does need a battery. Pulled that out. Doc always etched his name and uh, the date into it. And uh, <laughs> I know now why it doesn't work. It's a 16, 2016. Really? Oh, yeah. Their batteries are good for two years. Right? So. Um, so, yeah. we were, he Last weekend when I was doing uh, Lily's uh, headlights coach uh, coaches he had purchased some the replacement lights for that apparently six months ago he hasn't gotten to it he's been going through a lot of crap I know that I know so when they were following us back from uh, one of the events we were at the uh, I noticed her lights oh, we came to your house and I told her about the lights oh, yeah. that's when she said coach has the lights hasn't gotten to him come on over so last weekend she got to come over Man, did she bring a spread. Oh, I swear to God, a Passover spread. It was... Yeah, I saw the bagels and the locks oh, and everything like that. Yep. And I expected bagels and cream cheese. I got coffee. Making a Keurig, do some schmear. It was great. So I was kind of hoping she was going to show up again this morning. But that, didn't <laughs> that didn't happen. Yeah, this is good. How was that? You're good. Gotta it. Say Gotta it again exactly what it is because I'm going to put a tag in here for what it is. Nica Libre. Nica Libre. N I C A L I B R E. Nica Libre. Libre is liberty, right? I. If you were a Spanish speaker? I'm assuming. Well, Cuba Libre, right? Free Cuba? Free? Uh, maybe it's free. I don't know what it means. I barely speak English. Makes two of us. What do you want? It's funny. We're almost the opposite. Summertime is so damn hot. We'll go outside, you know, with the dogs and stuff a little bit and jump in the pool once in a while. But the winter is so nice, usually. It's, we sit outside most of the time in the, in the winter time. Although, now that it's baseball season again, I'll be in the pool with one of these and a drink, looking up at that TV, which I know I noticed you still don't have yours. No. Not that I'm rubbing it in. No. Or mention it every time I'm here. No. No. Um, but the problem is, there's really no place I can put it. Underneath that corner that's hidden from everything, up in the up in the corner. Yeah, but Mount that's it all the heat from the grill. I can't move the grill. I'm afraid we'll destroy it. You gotta move the grill and put it where. But when you're cooking, it's got wheels. I see it. Yeah, it's I got can wheels. See wheel. You move it out. You cook. You go under there. Okay, whatever's yeah, more but, important. But, to you. but I've, I've got my fan there too. It keeps me cool while I'm cooking. I agree. And then it does rain. I know. I. I you saw what I had to put out. I got the little thing outside the gazebo by the way when it rains really hard i still get really wet <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it keeps it drier well because rain in florida always comes down ah, sideways. sideways yeah the forest gump style rain it's coming up from the bottom yeah yeah it comes from the right in the front yard or from the left in the backyard so um I'm going to edit in that picture I took. What is that meat you showed me that was in the, your... That was a tomahawk steak. Tomahawk steak. 
How many freaking pounds was that thing? It was that was 3. huge. 3.2. The 3.2 pound steak. It's also known as a cowboy steak. Cowboy steak, right. It's the ribeye with the rib on. They didn't cut it off to the for, for the trim. Right. Okay. And then for that I will put the grill on about 550. If you knock my beer over, I'm going to hurt you. Oh, that's not going to be good. One more, then I throw it in the water by mistake. Um, <laughs> she stares at it, though. He stares at it. Oh, yeah. You won't be in the pool. I'll put it 90 seconds, turn it 90 degrees, 90 seconds. Because you got to have squares. perfect okay. little squares. Okay. Perfect squares. And yeah. then you turn around and you flip it over. Okay, no more. Flip it over, do the same thing, 90 seconds, 90 seconds, and then indirect cook it until it gets to about 130. Pull it, right. let it sit five minutes. Salt, pepper. So you uh, you put a sensor in it? Yeah. Okay. 130. So you like a more medium than rare. She's more into a uh, medium. Medium-ish. What was it, inch and a half, inch and a quarter thick? No, thick. that's probably about two and a half inches thick. Oh, that wasn't two of them piled on top of each other. No, that was one. Thick. Oh, I get it. God, it's almost a whole that's chop. A, yeah, that's Oh, thick. Jesus. All right, so then you can do that. All right. Yeah. Cause yeah I'm thinking because that's it, a lot it of comes heat. out. Yeah, well, so, the, the, I'll put the probe closer to the outside. Not near the bone. Not near, no, definitely not near right. the bone. Yeah. But no more so this way when you, by the time I pull it. Because it's going to cook some more. Yeah. Yeah. So, are, do you like it a little bit more rare? You me lean and, towards the bone? Me and Matt are more medium rare. She's lately more medium. Any kind of blood on the plate, she freaks out and doesn't really like as much. Hey, if she wants to do it wrong, it's up to her. So, I know. Hey. I have found to, I'll say undercook it, but take it off cooler. And I'll kind of cut mine off that I like because it's still hot enough that it'll cook a little bit more for mm -hmm. Scooby. And if I have to, I could always throw it back on for a couple minutes, and, which is way too much for me. Just please don't ever nuke it. No, no, please no nuclear meat. No nuclear meat, no. I'm just talking to this guy. I, I'll turn the oven on for 15 minutes just to just, just war take the chill off of it before I'll nuke it. No. I had a guy I was talking to at work that claims that he's a great smoker. He's a great smoker. And then he posted something on Facebook that, yeah, I just threw it in the oven to finish it off, and I'm going to go lay down for a half an hour. No. Oven for a half an hour? You know, half an hour, just, just to bring it up to 10. Because, yes, at a certain point. So he point, seared it. He, he smoked it for, he was making a brisket, and he smoked it for about four or five hours, and then turned around and threw it in the oven for, he said, about three and a half hours to bring it up to 203. Sounds like he was having heat control That's issues. like, well, why, why did you, you throw it, it in the oven? Because yeah. it's not going to take any more temperatures, any more smoke, so it really doesn't matter how you finish it. Then it's like, and you claim to know how to smoke? He, he, there's novices out there. Yes. Yes. No, you leave it on there. You want to crutch it? That's fine. Go ahead and crutch it. Yeah. A lot of people do. But it just speeds up the cooking process. But yeah. you don't finish it in the oven. If anything, take it off the heat, wrap it in tin foil. Yeah, that's, that's, what, then, that's what crutching is. Yeah. Well, is that what crutching is? That's what crutching that. is. I did not know that. And actually what you do is when you crutch it, you put the shiny side of the aluminum foil in. So the Rest heat, for the reflective heat. So, yeah, it's very yep. Otherwise, the heat will go yep. the other way. I learned that years ago from my grandmother. She would cook fish. Hey, lay out, first of all, she loved butter. When I say loved butter, everybody in my family has heart disease because of my grandmother. But it was always so good. Lay out a bunch of butter in, in the, the tin foil. We did a lot of cooking on the briquettes at the beach house. Did this pre propane get gas grills, right? So heat the briquettes, put the little thing on top, you know, the, the mesh grate, the grill. Usually rusty from the year before, you know. Oh, yeah. You don't want to cook on it. Always put everything in tin foil. But it adds flavor. Yeah, it adds flavor. You Crunchiness. Let it, you let it cook mm -hmm. for about a half an hour. Most of the rust burns off. Most of it, yeah. And shake it off. Yeah. All right, so. Um, most people would take a layer of butter by 
you know, semi-cool, and you kind of smear the bar just to give that thing. No, no, pads the butter. Pads the butter over the door. Then, four or five onions. You just on top. Cracked pepper. Lay the fish on it. Maybe even sliced potatoes. Close it up. Throw it on a grill yeah. and just steam forget it. about it. Yeah. Literally, like, oh, how, how long has it been? Uh, it's probably ready. And you go out and if the steam is pushing out, because even if the bottom, th th it's loaded with onions. Let them let them get black. Yeah. That's the best part of it. Absolutely. The fish never burned. No. It never tastes charred. Mm -hmm. it's amazing you're, you're steaming it because of the oil. In there would do. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it was so good. Uh, but, yes, she said, the, uh, the reflective part in. Yeah. It reflects the heat back and it has to cook mm -hmm. in. So. And it will speed up the cooking process and yeah. a lot of times will help you force through the stall. Force through the stall. What is that? That's a, that sounds like a cooking term. That there's always going to be a stall point where as the meat's cooking, it's going to get to normally between like 135 and sometimes as much up to 150 where it'll it like plateaus. look like it'll, it'll plateau. Okay. It'll stop cooking. And what's happening is a lot of the the veins and the muscles yeah, and the so, stuff like that so are right? starting so, to break down. Okay. I did read about that. So you crutch it and it will help speed through that. It'll take sometimes up to two to three hours of cooking time off So you're making. My rib roasts are getting progressively better because I'm learning a little bit lower temperature and longer cooking. Ultimately, the meat's going to get to the right temperature. <laughs> but when you get that those that fat module in there to render it's just, yeah it's like, oh it's candy and when that starts breaking down that's what gives you oh, the tenderness so good yeah now i actually did the pork butt today at 275 which is the first time ever normally i'm 225 to 250 and when it came out it just fell apart in my hands yeah so i may start doing my pork butts at 275 so it took six and a half hours to smoke is that the pork you're talking about bringing to the next get together yes so you're gonna pull it yeah Oh, do you make your own sauce? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Me too. I, I pour it out of Sweet Baby Jacks. Or yep. Whatever. That's my homemade sauce. Nah, uh, yeah, it took me two... Sweet Baby Rays. Sweet Baby Rays. It took yeah. me two years to come up with my own... What I'm going to do... Combination. I'm going to put a couple little things in it, and now it's not. It's no longer Sweet Baby Rays. Now it's mine. Right. I'm going to have to edit that out. Add, <laughs> add a little bit of brown sugar. Worcestershire sauce. A little Worcestershire brown and a little bit of cayenne. Sauce. Oh, it's hot enough anyway, isn't it? I mean, cayenne. I mean, it's, it you know really, what? My problem is for the pe the people I'm going to feed. I would love it, mm -hmm. but there's always the. Oh, so it's hot. Okay. She's that Neither way. We shouldn't invite them anymore. We she should. she likes heat, but she doesn't like the burn in your mouth type. And right. I, I'm not that. You know, yes, certain things. Yeah. Yes, but the barbecue sauce, I like to have a little bit of a kick. I think it's already got cayenne in there though, because I did make one, but came in. Uh, uh, I went up down to him because he's quite the barbecuer as well. Actually, so is um, uh, Tofu, my neighbor. So the two of you, would, we would have a great video because you're both knowledgeable with the barbecuing uh, and cigars. So that'll be a good vid. No, we we'll definitely got to about that. do it one time. Well, all right, so we got to enjoy a nice cigar. We're going to keep talking. Um, yours again is? A Nica Libra. Which we just got the ash all over your leg. Yep. That's good. Okay. And I got the Connecticut, no, yeah, Connecticut wrap, champagne. 10th anniversary, Padormo. Anniversary, yep. So um, hit that like and the share and uh, the whole subscribe and all the other things. So we'll see you later. Uh -huh.